a new scientific tool in the wildlife conservation front in Thailand. It's called a frozen zoo, where the sperm of endangered and rare animals is kept to be surgically implanted or for in vitro fertilization. This lab is run by the Zoological Park Organization and has the sperm of 20 different species. The focus is on the sperm, as eggs are sensitive to freezing and the collection process is extremely delicate. So when a male dies off, his genetic contribution to the species will not. That's critical for preventing birth defects and diseases caused by inbreeding as the number of mating partners dwindles. Genetic diversity is very important. Uh -huh. We can bring the new genetic slide from another place, from another zoo or another country uh -huh, to produce the new baby. And that new baby can be introduced into a herd in the wild. An endangered elves deer born from the frozen zoo here was released and she successfully gave birth. Frozen sperm from vulnerable species like this clouded leopard can be kept for years. But some wildlife conservationists are concerned that programs like this will detract attention and resources away from preserving their natural habitat. One of the biggest threats to species at risk that are still in the wild, the shrinking of their natural habitat. The uh, sperm bank uh, approach is very helpful for the species that may be locally extinct. But for the species that we still have wild population, we should try by all means to uh, conserving those and also increasing the chance of uh, connectivity in natural habitat. Researchers agree that reproductive labs for endangered species in frozen zoos need to work hand in hand with the conservation of their natural homes but also view their work as crucial when animals can't be saved. This uh, research in uh, so-called ex situ or outside of natural habitat is, save, is serving as an insurance. Once extinction happens in the wild, what are you going to turn to? You have to come back to the captive population and then using the stock that we have in a human hand and we can use this to repopulate. There are frozen zoos in other parts of the world, but Thailand can have significant regional impact. Those running the sperm banks are looking to set an example by bringing in sperm from endangered species in neighboring countries that can't afford a program of their own, working to preserve species outside their borders. Scott Heidler, Al Jazeera, Chonburi, Thailand.